welcome back to What Our Team Is with General Disturbance. <laughs> this game started rather quickly. It's Petro123 again, and this time round he's in the Object 261, the Tier 10 Soviet SPG. Two marks on the barrel, 18 centimeter barrel, which is capable of doing 800 alpha with standard shells, and with the premium HE he's got 1000 and penetration of 56 millimeters as opposed to 45 millimeters on the standard. Okay, well he's gone right into the very corner. It's a good spot to fire from over here. First target, T92 HMC spotted at the other end of the map. Bounds out. Direct hit, 359. Yup, he's um, pretty badly damaged. Okay, the standard reload is 30.68 seconds, and he's managed to get 25.42, Petro. He's going to go for this STB-1, and the 121B just got caught in that corner. Rounds out. No, I think that's going to miss. They pulled back just as uh, they were attacking our Object 260, but they've gone back into the pocket. So I suspect they're still there, and they're just not spotted at the moment. Okay, we're going to put a round down on T95 FP4201 Chieftain. Let's see if he can get this one on. Oh, he's pulling back. He is pulling back. That's it, that's it, that's it. Round's out. That looks good. Well, despite the fact it said that we didn't get any damage, or didn't say any damage, I think there was some damage there. I'm pretty sure there was. Now oh, we can't really see that guy at the moment. Where is he? There's the oh he is missing a few hit points. Okay, going for the 60 TP. Rounds out. This will definitely hit, no doubt about it. I can't believe that's not well, it's not butter. I can't believe that didn't hit him. That must have hit him. In fact, I can see no shell craters, so I suspect it did hit him, but he was unspotted, so we didn't get a reading. And yeah, we can see that the Viz 55 is missing some hit points, but we want to see that 60 TP, because he's the one who's probably lost the most. Okay, line him up. Bounce out. Looks good. Direct hit. But I don't think it was the Viz 55. I think it was the 60 TP who took the shell that time. Because it was an unsighted... Oh, there's the 60 TP. And yes, he is missing 10% of his hit points. So it was the Viz 55 who took the shell. Tier 10 game, tier 10 tanks. Yep, the Viz 55 is down to 68%. Rounds out. Another direct hit for 477. Non-penetrating shot, but a high roll. He's loading the premium ammo. I think he may have been firing the premium ammo before, in which case that was probably a low roll. But he's going for the side of an E100. And is he going to go for that? Oh, he's going for the Chieftain again. Changes his mind, goes back to the E100. Rounds out. Oh, it landed short. Now that's being trolled. Trolled by the ammunition. RNG said, nope, you're not having that one. And the shell landed prematurely. But that E100 took the hint and he's pulled back. Okay, there's the Viz 55. He pulled back as well. We can't get a shot on the E100 because of the position of the rock. But we might be able to get a shot on the T95 FE4201 if we can see him. He fired blind into that corner. He's used up all his premium rounds now. If only he could put a round into the E160 TP at the moment. But they're pulling forward. So he might get a chance with his next shot to hit both these guys at the same time, so long as they stay together. Okay, aiming for the 100. This one will have stun. Rounds out. Yep, he got him. 147. The Super Conqueror is going around the corner. I think he's probably going to see the 60 TP first, though. Oh, he's no, he's seen the T95. And there goes the E100, the Super Conqueror finally got him. Well, this is going to force those guys to pull back, but the 121B was sitting up in the pocket. 
Can we get a shell to land near him? No, because they've gone back into cover. There's that Viz 55 that we fired at earlier in the day. He's sitting on top of Temple Mount near the amphitheater. And that's a nice little pocket to hit him. Oh, yes! 315, good hit. Right into his engine bay area. He was so slow to recover there, I'm wondering if it damaged his engine. Not sure he can get a shot on the Viz, but he can certainly hit that object 140. And instead, he's going to go for the T95 FB4201, I think. It'd be a very difficult shot, but if he can get it... No, nope, he's actually changed his target. He's going to go for the T123. Rounds out. Long flight time. 2.57. 2.4 second flight time from this position. Way over the other side of the map, but at least he's getting stun assist off this one. Yeah, the E3 is in the wrong position there because whilst he's spotted, we've got a Death Star on our team who can probably put a few rounds into him. And he puts another one in to stun him. And it does. Now, remember that 121B was last seen in the pocket. There's the Chieftain. Fortunately, that rock is really causing problems. Okay, object 140. Dialing in. Very low hit points. He is on a ridge line though, which makes it very difficult to hit him. And their bat chat, 25 ton, just scored a kill on our Sheridan. And decided to go down the cliff face the half fast way. And then he lost hit points in the process. There's the 121. Oh, that was a bit of a snap. More than a bit of a snap, and now he's actually backing up to the corner because that object 140 up on the Temple Mount might actually be within view range. Still can't get a shot on the T95 FP4201. Our 279E is trolling him at the moment. And the Super Conqueror is getting in a position where he might be able to do something about him. In the meantime, the 121 went back to defend his cap area. And he might present an easy splash kill. But instead we're going to fire at the T110E3. Who's still receiving fire from our teammates. Rounds out. And that's a direct hit. No doubt about that. And another direct hit came on him from the batch at 155.58. Because the shell landed just after ours. And he picked up 511 stun assist off that shell. Batch at. Rounds out. Oh, so close. At least we got some stun on him. Okay, Striv 103B, the first time we've seen him. Bounce out. Now, he got advance warning that we were about to fire, so he changed position. Some of those drivers do have the uh, sound awareness that they are aware the moment we are fire around out of them and they move quickly to avoid the shell. Well, the scores are even at the moment. And it looks like Pichot's just changing position. But he's actually decided to go back to his old spot again. Okay, the STB1 might be able to get a shell on him, even though he's on that ridge line. 
It's a very difficult shot whilst they're on the ridge line, but they've come up to the top. You can lay a shell into them. The Striv is in a dangerous position at the moment because he can actually be hit. He just probably doesn't realise it. But if he backs up at all, he's going to take a round. There he is. Chieftain, rounds out. Yep, that hurt him. It's a splash, but it's still 168. Oh, and their enemy RT just uh, missed. And he's now been badly damaged, but our Hesh R's Death Star took a, is on fire. And I think he's about to die. Oh, he lost virtually all of his hit points, the Death Star. He didn't die, but he's down to virtually nothing. And we are well low on the enemy. That We've got 3,612 hit points, whilst the enemy's got 5,577. Although we've got a one-tank advantage, it doesn't look good. Some of our guys could get picked off fairly easily. Don't think Petra can hit the STB where he is, but he can certainly hit the E3. Dialed in. Ready to go. Well, it did hit him, but he went unspotted at the moment we did, so we don't know how much in the way of hit points, and it looks like he got rid of his stun. We've only got two rounds of ammunition left. This is the problem with the Object 261. You only get a limited number of ammo. Um, it really can be used up very quickly. All you get is 20 rounds to play with. And it's so easy to run out of ammo in this RT. Petro's been doing his best. Last round. I normally announce that in chat to let my teammates know that I am on my last round. He's going to go for the E3. Rounds out. 274 hit points of damage. He's out of ammunition. I normally hit the C key to let my teammates know that I've got no more ammo. And at this point on, I become a capper. My duty now to get into the enemy area. There's only two enemy tanks in the game. Two enemy arty. But the two enemy tanks are up in the north. And the two arty, well, we don't know where they are, but... We can guess that the T-92 is probably in the bushes at the back of the map. And the best thing that Petro can do is get into the cap area and start putting pressure on the enemy. And they've lost both of their tank destroyers. The Strip 103B and the E3 are both gone. And that means now it is possible to cap. Because it's only the enemy RT. And we know where the T-92 is. He just got killed by our 60 TP. And that only leaves the batch at 155.58. And he's been spotted. Petro's got no fear. He's just going to drive at the guy and possibly ram kill him if he can. And there he goes. That's the kill shot. Goes to the Griller. Here's the end of battle stats. And that was the second class Tanko again for Petro123 in the Object 261. He got a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. And this one he got 11. And he got a Confederate medal for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. And his win eight, 2,451, which is Unicum Standard, or Super Unicum Standard. Let's have a look at team score and see where he is. Well, the highest damage in the game actually went to the Death Star. He got 4,651 hit points. He stayed alive until the end, which was very lucky, because I think that E3 was intent on taking him down. And uh, he managed to survive. The second highest damage was the enemy Chieftain, with 3,850 
followed by their bat chat 25 ton who managed to pick up 3795 beating out our super conqueror with 3726 we can see that uh Pichot managed to get 3204 hit points of damage but he was beaten by three players on the enemy team which actually puts him in sixth place overall on damage when it came to kills though, he didn't get any kills at all. The top scorer being the Super Conqueror on his own team. Three kills went to the Batchat 25 ton. And then two kills went to the Gorilla 15, the STB, the 60TP and the Batchat 155-58 on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, it was the Super Conqueror who did the best with that one. 1,138 to him, 894 to the Death Star, 879 to the STB1. And we can see that Petro picked up 762 playing a good supporting role and getting a nice amount of damage let's have a look at the detail he fired all 20 rounds of ammo got 10 direct hits on the enemy no penetrations but he got, did get 18 splash as well 3204 hit points all of it done at more than 300 meters he hit 10 of the enemy didn't get any kills but he did get 1398 hit points of stun assist off 15 stuns on a premium count, he earned 53,660 credits, got 65,000 credits for completing a mission, 118,660 credits altogether. And after repair, uh, well, there was no repair, actually, uh, after ammunition resupply and consumables, and remember, he did fire some premium rounds, he still came away with 57,940 credits profit. He got five bonds for this being a tier 10 vehicle. And 1,143 XP times two for the first victory. Took away 2,286 experience points altogether. I think that's a pretty good game for an Object 261. Especially when you actually use all of your ammo in the game. Uh, doing your best to help your teammates to get uh, damage on the enemy. He, he did all that he could do. Uh, and he occupied that corner very well actually. He didn't stay in the same spot all the time. But uh, he did move about a bit just to fool the enemy. But the enemy wasn't interested in counter battery. But the fact that he got a confederate meant that yes he was working hard. In fact he was the only one to get a medal in the entire game. Nobody else did. It was only him. So well done to Petro for picking up a confederate. I hope you enjoyed that replay. Uh, we haven't done that many RT replays in the in recent history. Yes, uh, some people have been reminding me this is an RT channel, isn't it? Well, yes, it is an RT channel, but we've just been sent a lot of uh, tank replays in the recent history. Some of them very, very good. And we didn't want those tank replays to end up on somebody else's channel. So we tried to do them as quickly as we could. But there are loads of RT replays on the way. You might see some double header games coming up uh, in the very near future. Uh, so do stick around on our channel um, and if you did enjoy this uh, video please give it a like do subscribe to our channel leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm <laughs> and please do let other people know that we've got a sister channel called the general where you can watch great replays without any commentary whatsoever, nothing to distract you, but they're really good battles, lasting between 5 minutes to 15 minutes, and some of them are actually real humdingers of battles, especially when you see how many kills the uh, the team uh, your the player gets in that battle. Thanks for watching!